everybody, I am Karen from Your House Fitness and today we're going to be doing an at home workout. It's going to be a full body workout, we're going to mainly target that upper body using our pressing motion, lower body we're going to be getting some lunges as well as squats in the mix, also lots of core to target our midsection as well. Now things you're going to need today, just you, and if you happen to have a mat or a towel, we can get that set up on the ground. So for right now, let's get started on a little warm up. We're going to begin on the floor. We're going to have our heels down on the ground. Let's get those hands firmly on the floor, pulling those shoulders away from the ears. We just want to wipe our knees from side to side. So we're going to flow through that five to ten reps each way. Now what you also want to do is focus on letting gravity do a little bit of the work as well. We want to get those hips nice and open for today's workout. Next, we're going to then take it into our hip rocks. We're going to go hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips, feet, we're going to have those toes down. We're going to bring those hips back and then we want to power forwards trying to match our shoulders in line with those ribs. Take it back again, nice and easy. Feeling a gentle stretch, coming forwards. Now we can also integrate our breath with this. So taking that inhale on the way back. As you breathe out, coming forward, I want you to draw your belly button up towards your spine. Good. Let's go two more here. Excellent, last one. Perfect. We're also gonna take one leg out. We'll get a couple of rocks in that direction as well. So your options here, you can either keep that foot flat or as you come back, let's open the toe up to the ceiling and bring it forwards. Let's get that other side, a couple of bonus reps here. Again, focusing on your breath as you do this. And get that toe up for the last one. Perfect. Next, let's get you standing up. We're going to get a few inchworms into the mix. So keeping that posture nice and tall, we're going to fold at those hips. Take those hands down. Now I want you to walk those fingertips forward. Okay? We're going to pause in our plank position. Make sure belly draws in. And then we're going to walk ourselves back up. Let's get the arms up as well. Okay? Flowing back down. This is our second rep. We're going to go for five here. Okay, your goal, let's see if we can try to get those hamstrings stretched as well. So trying to keep them straight with a soft bend if you need to. Two more to go. Reach those fingertips up nice and tall. Good. And the key is you need to have that little pause in your start in that bottom position. Because otherwise, if you move out of it too quick, you're not going to really have to be anything on, I guess. Here's our last rep. Perfect. Let's get our glutes a little bit activated as well. So coming back down on the floor, we're going to bring our heels in just a little bit. Knees, 90 degree bend. Arms, they can be on the ground. We're going to take a breath in as you breathe out. Push those feet into the floor, lift those hips up. Make those glutes rock hard. Lower back down. We're going to go for 10 reps here. Two. Good. Giving it a good one, two count in that top position. Now for today's workout, we want to make sure our core is nice and strong. So anytime I'm cueing that belly button into your spine, I want you to think activating your core. Good. Let's go five more reps. Four. Make sure you get that nice squeeze in the top. Three. Two, and last one. Perfect team. All right. If you have that water, now's a good opportunity for you to have that sit. Let's get started on our first of three blocks today. Block number one, we're going to be activating our core just a little bit more. We're going to target that upper body. We're going to begin with our push-up. Now, this is going to be a combination move, so let's go through that first. We're going to be coming down into that plank position, hands under the shoulders, feet, they can be hip width apart, okay, and we want to make sure that belly button stays drawn in. Now, push-ups, we always want to make sure we're bending those elbows, shoulders away from the ears, and then returning it back up to the top, finishing by keeping that core nice and tight. We're going to go five reps with that first 
push up. When we finish that fifth rep, we're gonna add five sh um, shoulder taps. Three, four, five, up to 10. Okay, so five per side. Options for this one, we can take it down to our knees. Okay, so pumping out five push ups here and then five of our shoulder taps like that. That's our first exercise. Second exercise, we're gonna keep those hands down on the ground. We're gonna go into a bear crawl. So we wanna bring those knees in just under the hips. We're gonna take one, two, three steps forward, one, two, three steps back. We're gonna do that three times. Your goal with that one is we wanna keep that belly button drawn in and making sure your spine stays neutral for that. Last exercise, we're gonna take it into a side plank leg lift. We're gonna have the bottom knee bent. We wanna make sure our elbow is in line with that shoulder. This is our starting position here, so we wanna make sure that hip stays off the ground, keeping our hand on our hip. From here, we're gonna think about raising that ankle up to the ceiling, lowering down, but you don't wanna to touch the floor. All right, guys, so we wanna make sure, trying to create a straight line going across our body for two. This one here, we're gonna go for 10 reps with a good pause at the top. All right, team, we're gonna repeat that on our other side. That is our block, we're gonna get three rounds in. Let's get started. So five push-ups with five shoulder taps per side. Let's get moving. Hands under those shoulders, let's set up that plank. Here we go. Lowering down, pressing the floor away for one, two, three, four. Remember your option, you can always take this to the knees. Good, now holding here, one, two. Your goal is to try to not let those hips move. So we're focusing, pushing our hand down into the floor in order to keep ourselves stable, as well as keeping those hips nice and strong. Three more, two, one. All right, team, we finished that first exercise. Now, bring those knees in. We wanna lift opposite arm, opposite leg. So three steps out, one, two, three. Let's take it, three back, one, two, three. That's one round. We're still trying to keep those hips level as we move. We're trying to make those wrists stay in line with the shoulders. It's a small movement. Three, one, two, and boom. Three, knees can drop down. We're starting on one side with our side plank, bending that bottom leg, keeping everything else in a straight line. From here, let's go 10 reps. Ankle up, give it a good pause, control down. Two. Now we're trying to target our glute here. It's a small feeling that you'll have on the outer part of your hip. That's a spot I want you to think about squeezing. Five more. Good. Four. Keep pushing that knee down. Hip stays lifted. Two and one. Let's take it to the other side. Okay, get that set up in place first. Elbow in line with the shoulder. Leg is long. Let's go. Ten reps. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, guys. Take that sip of water. We're going to give ourselves 30 to 60 seconds of rest. We're going to get into round number two. Now, here's where we're going to add a little tweak. For that first exercise where we did the push-up into the shoulder tap, now we're going to turn that into a little combination move. Here's how that's gonna look. We're gonna set up that push-up. We're gonna get one rep in, tap one shoulder, tap the other shoulder. That is going to be one rep. Okay, team? If we don't feel like doing that as a combination movement, that's okay. Take it back to your push-up, five reps, then finishing off 10 reps of the individual shoulder taps. Otherwise, take, let's get started, okay? Setting up that plank position, Round number two, here we go. So we're getting in that push-up, it's five reps total. Shoulder tap one side, shoulder tap the other side. That's one rep, let's go again. Try it on the other arm leading first. Two, good. Rep three, we're keeping that belly button drawn in the entire time. Two more. Okay, focusing on our stability here, making sure those hips don't move. Last rep. Good stuff, team. Now we're moving into our bear crawl. 
Okay, keeping those knees about one inch off the ground. Let's go three forward. One, two, three. Take it back. One, two, three. That's one. Good. Keeping those hips as level as possible. Trying to coordinate the arm and leg movement together. Last time. Two, three, one, two, and three. Drop those knees onto our side plank. All right, making sure that arm stays stable. Keep that space between the shoulder and ear. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Make sure that you're giving it that little pause in the top as well, because if you're bouncing through, you're not really activating that knee. Three more. Two, one. And let's drop down to the other side. We'll get that recovery coming in a quick moment. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, keep this drawn in. Push those hips forward. Three more. Two, one. Let's take it down. Recover 30 to 60 seconds. Sip of water. And then we're going to get on into that next round. Great job, everybody. We should be feeling that upper body working. Core should be nice and tight. Again, we still are getting everything to move in this block, but we're just working that upper body a little bit extra harder. Okay, last round. Let's go. Push up time. So, Again, choose whichever option you're doing. Let's move. Lowering down five reps here. Tap and tap. Now I'm gonna challenge you. If you can bring those feet in nice and tight and still maintain your positioning, that's your final challenge here. Good stuff. Two more. Good. Last rep. Good. Knees. Take them in. Three steps forward, three steps back. Two. And you want to try to show control with this. So try not to let those arms and feet land hard on the ground. Think soft. Two. Taking it back. Last one. One. Two. Three. Take it back. One. Two. And three. All right, knees down, back into that side plank, last round. All right, here we go, team, 10 reps. Okay, getting that ankle up as high as possible. Think about toes pointing down to the floor. That's gonna activate that glute just a little bit harder. Good, five more to go, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it to your other side. Okay, take that second. Make sure your setup is good. Feel strong in that side plank. Let's go. Last time around with these guys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last rep, team. Boom. Let's take it down. Good job, good job. That's our first block out of the way. Take that sip of water. Give yourself a couple minutes. I'm going to talk to you about our second block now. This time, it's going to be a little bit more strength focused. We're going to be targeting those legs in this block. Two key movement patterns here. We're going to focus in on our lunge. So that's going to be the single leg emphasis. And then we're also going to target our squat pattern as well. Now here's our first exercise. We're going to be starting with the left leg forward. Okay, we want to make sure that knee is in line with our toes here. Back leg, we're going to have that set back. Now our goal in the lunge, we want to line up the knee to our middle toe here. Okay, so if it goes to the inside, goes to the outside, I want you to try to focus keeping that center. We're going to do five static lunges to start. So not bringing the foot moving around. So we want to keep it in the same place. So coming up and down, we're going to go for five reps. Then, once we complete that fifth rep, we're going to come back down. We're going to focus standing up tall for five, four. So we're going to take it into a little forward lunge, making sure we're squeezing those glutes. So total, 10 reps there. Then we're going to take it to the right side. We're going to do the same thing, all right? Next, we're going to take it into our sumo squat. So we want to have those legs a little wider than the hip width, 
toes flared out, and we're going to be sitting down into it, keeping those knees, again, in line with those toes, coming up tall, emphasizing the inner part of our leg as we lift up, okay? We're going to go for 10 reps here, then we're going to hang out in that bottom position. We're just going to go up and down, little pulses for 10 additional reps, and then when we're finished, that is the end of our block. All right, team. So a bunch of exercises broken into one big movement pattern. We're gonna get started, all right, team? So put those water bottles down. Let's get set up with that left leg forward. Going five reps, static, lunges. Okay, remember the positioning of our knees. Let's go. Coming down, we're gonna hold, and then come up. That's one. Lowering down for two. Now I want you to have that long hold in the bottom, because guess what? If you come out of it too quick, you're not really doing much for that front leg. Four, good. Keeping that weight 80% in the front. Let's take it down. Now we're gonna come to those forward lunges. So standing tall, squeeze that tush. Five, four, three, two, and last one, good. Let's reset on that right leg. So taking the left leg back. Here we go, five static lunges. Lowering down, one. Nice and slow, hold it in that bottom, two. So remember what I mentioned earlier. If that knee is moving around, I want you to hang out just a little bit longer until you find the right position. Good, last one here. Let's take it into that forward lunge for five. Good, four. Keep breathing. Now every time we come up to a breath out, Draw that belly in, one. All right, we finished off on those lunges. Now setting up, those toes flared out. Let's go into our sumo. So sitting down into our hips, push the floor away to stand up tall, good. Lowering back down, drive up, two. Breath in here, hold it there. So your goal is to try to get those thighs to parallel, otherwise you work your range of motion here. We're on rep five, strong up. Don't forget, we want to think about engaging those glutes as well. So not only pushing through all our toes to get up, but we want to make those guys fire up. Rep eight. Last two, we're getting ready for those pulses. Here we go, final full rep. Good, take it back down, let's pulse for 10, nine, eight. We're keeping this movement really small. Six, five, four, three, two, and one team, shake that out. Good job, good job. Okay, catch your breath here. Have that sip of water. We're gonna get one more round in right now. Okay, once again, we're gonna start with that left leg. We're gonna do the exact same thing. This time, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a challenge. When we, so we're gonna do our five static lunges. This time, your option, if we're feeling good on that leg, as we drive in, we can bring that knee up Take it back. So look, adding that little bit of a knee drive in the top position. Otherwise, you just focus on keeping that toe down. For the sumo squat, we're going to add some arms in that. So every time we come up, I want you to think straighten the arms out. Bring them back to center. All right, team. That's how we're going to finish up our final block. Are you ready? You don't have a choice. Let's go. Front leg forward. That's your left leg. Here we go, five static lunges into those five forward optional knee drive. Let's move. Lowering down, little pause. Strong in the top. Remember, weight in that front leg. As much as you don't want to do it, I want you to do it. Two, three. Lower back down, control. Four, last one. Good. Now here's where we add a little bit more power. Let's go, knee drive, five. Take it down, pause. Four, so we're trying to eliminate that momentum. That's gonna make this leg work extra hard. Two, and nice job. Last one, shake that leg out. Let's set up that right leg. Taking it back, five reps. Slow down, drive it up. Putting as much of that weight into that forward leg. That back leg is just there to remind you that's for balance, three. Strong up, two, and one. Let's take it into our last five reps here. Lowering down, 
Adding that knee drive. Five, four, three, two. Strong in the top. Use those glutes. One. Sit it back. Nice job. Finishing off sumo squats. Legs wide. Thumbs by the shoulders. Sitting down. Driving that arms back. We can also think about engaging those triceps at the top. Shoulders away from the ears. Breath in. Breath out strong in the top. Four. Keep going. It's 10 reps. Remember, we gotta add that little pulse to finish. Seven. Slow down. Pause. Drop. Eight. Last two. There's that final one coming up tall. Good. Sitting well. Pulse it out. Yes, this is gonna burn. That's what we want here. Stay low. Stay low. Five. Six. Seven. Can you get lower? Nine. Ten. Team, come on up. Shake that out. Woo! Vlog number two is done. All right, sip that water. Wipe the sweat off your face. We have one more vlog left to go. This one's going to be a little cardio finisher. We're going to be doing a Tabata. So that's going to be four minutes of work. Your exercises, they're going to be 20 seconds long. You'll have 10 seconds of recovery in between. You only catch though. For those 20 seconds, I want you to go as much effort as you can bring. So think nine out of 10 on your intensity level or greater. All right, let's go through the four exercises you're gonna do. We're just gonna do two rounds of them. First one, setting up on the floor. We're going back to that plank position. We're gonna go mountain climbers. So we wanna match our knee to the elbow, take it back. Bring the knee to the other side, take it back. Now our goal here is not to go as quickly as we can, I want you to focus on keeping that spine nice and level so we don't want to see the hips wobbling around. So it'll look something like this. As you get more confident, feel free to increase your pace. Second exercise, we're going into frogger jumps. Okay, so we're going to go back into that sumo stance. Hands are going to be set down low. We're going to think about exploding up as high as we can, landing nice and soft. Okay, it's not about how many reps you do. I want you to focus on getting the maximum height that you can. Third exercise, we're gonna do some imaginary skipping. So hold those skipping rope handles and we're gonna go. You can either jog this out, you can jump this out as normal, or if you're feeling up to it, you can go for those double unders, okay team? Last exercise, everybody's favorite, we got jumping jacks. So standing up nice and tall, arms and legs go wide, bring them back in. We're gonna pump those out for the last exercise. As I said, we're gonna repeat that one more time. It's four minutes work. Are you ready to blast it out? Yes, you are. Let's go, team. I got my timer ready. We're gonna start on the ground with those mountain climbers, hands under the shoulders. Remember, 20 seconds, all you got, 10 seconds to recover. Let's do this, team. In three, two, one. Let's move. We're on the clock, everybody. So we're focusing on control here. We want to make sure those shoulders are over those wrists. Okay, as I said, we're trying to keep those hips strong. That's your halfway point. We got a few more seconds to go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Three, two, one. Knees down. Ten seconds rest. All right, get ready because it's going to come real quick. Going into our progress in three, two, one. Remember, it's all about the height. Breathing out as you jump up. Making sure you're landing soft on those feet. Now, anybody who's got knee issues, just focus on a big explosive raise up. Just don't leave the ground. Two, one, take those 10 seconds, good. You might be feeling a little breathless. That's okay. The goal is we wanna keep that heart rate up. Now I'm just skipping, let's go. Okay, choose your option. Okay. You can use this either as a light recovery or you want to pick it up. Let's take that intensity up there. Halfway. Keep jumping, keep jumping, keep jumping. We're going to get 10 seconds off. And here we are. We got one more exercise in this block. It's going to be those jumping jacks. My heart is racing. I don't know about yours, but let's go. Three, two, and one. Jumping jacks. 20 seconds. 
So focus, again, being light on those feet. We're working full body here. Nice big range of motion halfway. Keep focusing on your breath. All right, 10 seconds off right now, team. Woo! Guess what? We've got one more round left. Taking it from the top. Going to touch me on the fly with hand snap. Let's go. And on the clock, 20 seconds. So focus on pushing that floor away, keeping that belly drawn in. Stare it straight into the floor. 10 seconds. Come on, guys, come on. 10 seconds off. Right now, team. Good work, good work. Going into our frog or jumps. Getting those feet flared out wide. How high can you jump? Let's go, 20 seconds right now. Now if you notice, I'm timing my breath with my jump. Remember to draw in that belly button. Keep going, find that rhythm, stick with me. 10 seconds. Almost there, good. 10 seconds off, we got two exercises left. Going into our skipping. You choose the option you want. Let's move three, two, and one, team, go. So you can jump as high as you want. You can keep this as low to the ground as you want. Just focus moving those wrists, keeping those shoulders relaxed. Almost there, almost there. Nice job, team. We got one more to go, it's your jumping jacks. Whatever you got left, let's see you bring it on this one. Three, two, one, let's go. Last 20 seconds. Almost there, almost there, team. Keep breathing, halfway, 10 more seconds. Can you get more reps in? Can you jump higher, whatever it is, go. Guess what, team? We're done! Woo! Nice job, everybody. That's my high fives to you, team. All right, heart part is over. All we have left to do right now is our stretch. So we wanna keep our chest elevated for this. I want you to begin taking a deep breath in through your nose. Let's reach those arms up and breathe it out. Sweep those arms down. We're gonna do three of those. Okay, team, breath in. Reaching up and take it back down. Last one, breath in and exhale. Good. Let's get those quad stretched out. So you can stick your arm out for balance. We're gonna keep those knees nice and close together. I want you to think pushing that hip forward, feeling the stretch front of the thigh. So deep breath in, deep breath out. And if we're not good at balancing, that's okay. You can hold on to something like a couch, a wall, a person, whatever it is that you need to do here. Good, shake that leg up. Let's get to the other leg. Good, reaching that arm out. Focusing on trying to control that breath, lowering that heart rate. Guys, I don't know about you, I'm a sweaty mess just from doing this workout. Full body work today. Should be feeling good about that. Good, shake that out. We're gonna go side to side with our legs right now, so I just want you to bring those hips back to center. Roll that through. You might be feeling that from the proverbs that we did as well as those sumo squats. Good. Again, focusing, controlling that breath, keeping that chest lifted. Good team, let's take it down to the ground. I want you crossing that one foot over, hugging that knee in. Okay, we're gonna feel a stretch in that knee. So hanging out there. You can rock yourself side to side just a little bit. Massage that low back. When you're ready, let's switch sides. Okay, so again, crossing that leg over, hugging that knee in. Nice and easy here. Keep burning this, keep burning this. All right, team, final stretch of the day. Let's get that happy baby in there. So bringing those feet up to the ceiling, we're gonna push those hips down. Keep going on that rocking motion. Just focus one more big breath in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. And come on up, team. Nice job on that workout. Thank you so much for joining me this, this morning. 
looking forward to catching you guys in the upcoming workouts. Remember, 28-day challenge, let's crush it out.